Hey everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel. I am Jay Carlson. I've got a little tutorial on how you can make Team TK items in Planet Coaster. How you can import your own photos as Team TK items. So, this was dis discovered by, ba I don't know about discovered, but he's got a really great tutorial on it already on YouTube. I thought I might as well just create another one just to kind of put it out there, but Batch has created a really, really great um, tutorial on it so make sure you go check out his video if you're confused on this but that's where the idea came from okay so starting things off I have here a Google Drive and before you get all oh Jake you already lost me what are you doing Jake oh my goodness cool down because you can find a link to this Google Drive in the description of the YouTube video and that's where you're gonna want to start so start there go to the description and press the Google Drive link I don't know what it's called um, but that's what you're gonna want to start with and in the Google Drive, you'll see these couple of files that you're going to want to download. I'm going to take you step by step through that process. All right, so the first thing you're going to want to do is select all of them. You can do that by clicking and dragging, which I find is the easy way, or you can just individually click them by themselves. But, you know, whichever one you find useful, do it yourself. Then go up to the download button right there at the top. It's going to run you through a download process, it's going to zip some files. And then it should bring up, there it is, something at the top. You just press um, go to file, this little folder button, and it should take you where the file is stored in your downloads. I like to drag that to my desktop, but for now you can just click on the file um, and open it up and extract everything from that zip file. So find a folder that you want to use and just extract it. After you've extracted everything, you want to drag the image that you want to convert to Team TK into that file. I have here a tractor kind of thing for my ride. You can use anything, but that's just what I'm going to use. Uh, now you'll see all these files here. These are all templates for the sizes that you can use in Planet Coaster. I'm going to go with this top one here, the 4 meter by 2.25 meter. I just want to use that one, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go up here and copy, then paste it down here, so control V, and I'm going to rename it, let's see, what am I going to rename it, I forgot, okay, yeah, you're going to rename it, just whatever you want, I like to view an underscore, so I put underscore tractor, and then you're going to rename it that, and then what you're going to do is you're going to drag your picture into that renamed file. So drag your tractor picture or whatever you have into that renamed copy file. So there's another program that you're going to need to get this toolkit item to work and that program is kind of like a Photoshop program where you can edit or manipulate photos and that's going to be called GIMP. G -I -M -P. Um, I'm sure you've heard of it. If not, just go to their website gimp.com G again G I M P it's basically like Photoshop so if you have Photoshop you can get this to work too I like using GIMP because it's free and it's easy but let's go ahead and get over to the GIMP website we have here the GIMP website like as you can see the G N U image manipulation program just go through that download process and it should be pretty straightforward you know just go through the download process I think it's also on the Windows Store but go through it and it should work now go back to your file explorer alright and after you've installed GIMP go back to your file explorer like I said and you're gonna want to I would recommend looking at the files first just kinda seeing what each file is and what they do so you got an FBX file that's really important for the upload um, and you got the GIMP files and the picture. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open the GIMP file that has the panel one on it and it should take a second to up there we go and uh, you'll come across this thing that says panel 4 meter and depending on which template you use that word will be different but this is the basic size that you want to use. Now, first thing you want to do is go over here on the right of the screen to these little option buttons here. You want to click add here. That basically makes it so that you can add an image inside 
that black panel. So yeah, make sure you click on that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to drag and drop your photo that you have. So for me, it's my tractor photo. And I want to drag that and drop it. Oops. Drag it and drop it into there. And as you can see, you can move it behind and around in this panel. Then press Shift S. This helps you so you can resize it. Shift S. Again, Shift S. Um, I'm going to place it exactly where I want it. Move back to the Move tool up there. And we should be good to go. That looks like a good spot for it. Okay, so you're going to go up to File. And now you're going to do Export As. This should export it. Okay, now what you want to do is you're going to go click on the SM PNG file. And this kind of just sets it so you can spell it out easier. What you're going to do is you're going to delete the SM and type in BC, all caps. I don't know what this does, but it makes it's like it sets it to where it can become a toolkit item. Um, don't ask me that. I don't really know what it does, but that's what Batch set the to. So make sure you do the step. Then you can prick press export and then you don't have to change any of that just go through export um, don't again don't know what that really does but just export it and it should put it right back into your file and as you can see you can see the BC file right there um, you can see your tractor photo still your two and there's two GIMP files I think you only need that one though you can see the FBX file and then the texture file. Okay, there's a couple more steps. One of them is to copy this BC file. So select it and Control C and then Control V. And you want to copy it twice. And I'll explain that in further detail in a minute. So see there, I copied it twice. And then you're going to rename these files. Um, a, a different name from what you already have it. So for one of them, go ahead and rename it. I think it's EM. Yeah, capital EM. So texture, keep the texture, keep the underscore, and then just have EM. And then the second one you want to rename, I believe it's icon. So for the second copy, go ahead and rename it and rename it icon, I-C-O-N. And that's basically for your picture for your DM Maker's Toolkit item, just so that people can see what it is. Um, so now select the icon one and open it with the paint. This has already come on your computer when you already buy it, so you don't need to download this or anything. Um, Go to the scale option right here and go to 128 pixels. Uh, depending on what it does, you might have to make it smaller or something, then save it real quick. All that does is it makes it so that the file size fits as the image. You can easily change that if it doesn't fit. Just go back and you know lower it and stuff like that just to make your image fit. And then I believe that is really it so now what you have to do is you have to turn all these files or the most specific ones into a zip file so select the icon oh uh, wait hang on uh, yeah the icon select the icon file the panel KD I can't read that KDC file the BC file and the EM file. So icon. Okay. Okay, why? Okay, so what you want to do is you want to select color files to so the icon, the FBX file. That's really helpful. Make sure you do that. The BC file, the EM file, and the SM file. And those are the five files that you need to select. Now what you're going to do, 
um, is you're going to want to try to compress them. And the way you do that is by creating a zip file. So to create a zip file, right click on one of the, I right click on the S FBX file and then just press compress the zip file and should create that little zip file right there. You don't re need to rename it or anything, that's totally up to you. Um, I actually don't know what renaming it does, so maybe not rename it. You can mess around with that yourself, but I would just leave it how it is. Then go open Planet Coaster and have this title screen right here. Oops. Yeah. Open the Theme Maker's Toolkit right here. Got this Create button. We're going to click on that. It should open a tab for us. And if you're not signed in already, then make sure you do that. But I already am. And I already have an item in here that I've already made. So if you have done this before, your theme. TK items will show up, but um, if you haven't, then there will be nothing there. So go ahead and cr press create new item. This is where it brings up your list of things to do. So you're going to want to, you know, give your item a name. I'm going to name mine, let's see, probably like tractor uh, diagram. Yeah, tra tractor diagram. We'll do the four meter by, and what was that file size? I forgot. How, what was the forgot what size I used. I used the 2.25 meter. Okay. Alright, so it'll be 4 meter by 2.25 meter. Um, you can name it anything you want. It just helps people on the workshop see what kind of size you are. Give it a nice description. I'll just say test for now. Since this is a tutorial, make sure you give your thing a nice description. Um, then this is where you drop in your zip file. So drop your zip file into that package zip link and it should go in there if it works now you do your preview image and that's that one that we use paint to kind of downscale where am I what am I doing right now oh yeah I need to go to okay go to that file um, and select the icon one. Oh, and I got uh, I got an error so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna open that with paint real quick this is the error I was talking about open paint and select it again and you know downscale it by a lot um, not too much two is probably really pro really small but I'll just do it for now maybe like 50 um, yeah as you can see that's pretty small but I don't really care because it is it is a just a tutorial at this point so alright put that icon in there that worked that time and then you're gonna choose your category so your category is like what you wanna set it as in the scenery I like to set it as the signs and advertising, oh, not misc, signs and advertising, theme, it really depends, I think mine is kind of western a little bit, so I'm probably going to put it as western, yeah, but you can choose that, um, scenery type, it is, we're not going to really keep simple, grid, we don't want grid, that's kind of dumb, um, you can set any price you want, depends on you, <laughs> You have to put put a price, so that's the annoying part. So I'll pro probably put five dollars for this one. Running cost zero, probably. Sound type, okay. I this is this is cool option right here. I want to use mine as plastic. You can change it whatever one you want. And you got the sound size, so like I want mine's a, kind of a smaller item, so I want that small sound. Then you can, then you're done. All you got to do is hit submit. And it will, you know, upload your item and build it and do all that fancy stuff. It might take a while. Um, I've I've waited for 15 minutes before, so you may you might be waiting depending on how efficient your PC is. But yeah, you might be waiting a little while. And then the next step is really just really simple. Okay, so it just finished loading, and uh, we have this big download button here. First, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open my file explorer. And I uh, don't want that open yet. I think I just want to go down and open a new file explorer tab. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So go file file explorer. They're gonna go to documents, Frontier Developments, Planet Coaster, and TMT. You can see there's an item in there already. That's already my one of my TMT items. What you're gonna do is you can press download, and it should download the file. Press the folder icon, and then why well, why I open that one is I can just drag it now and drop it into my TMT file, and there we go. It should be in game now. So yeah, we're in game. So oh, don't click view. Maybe not. Okay, 
So go to my toolkit items and type in what you want. So I just named it tractor and there you go. It should be right in the game. You may have to refresh, but yeah, it looks really great. Oh, mine's upside down. <laughs> I don't know why that is. <laughs> but yeah, it's it, it works. And a plus side about this is that they glow. So at night, they kind of glow in the dark. So it's it's really cool. You don't have to like light it up or anything. It already has its self-light, which is really cool. And uh, here, I'll show you that right now. Oh, maybe one, two. Yeah, there we go. See, it lights up in the dark, and it's fairly bright, too, so I love it. Um, so, yeah. And you can move it any direction, especially since you didn't do the grid option. So, yeah, you can spin it anyway. You can move it up and down, left and right. It's, it's really great. And now you have a custom image in the game, and you can use it for, like, billboards or stuff like that so that you don't have to use custom media and people don't have to go and download all your custom media now you can just do this yourself and uh, have it as an item in the game so hopefully that helps i hope you all have a great day i hope y'all were able to make sense of this tutorial and uh, like subscribe and comment if you liked it i will see you next time thanks for watching guys and have a great day